Flashover is known and feared by many firefighters. Flashover results in a fire inferno inside a room when gases from heated combustible materials suddenly ignite. If flashover occurs, the death toll tends to rise threefold. The room corner test is used as a reference in the EU's reaction to fire system to determine the risk of flashover. A heat source equivalent to a burning waste bin is ignited in the corner of the room. The fire intensifies and in less than 20 seconds this polyurethane insulation mounted on the walls and the ceiling causes flashover. Large flames and a cloud of toxic smoke pour out of the doorway. After one minute the heat becomes even more intense. An unprotected person inside this room would have no chance of survival. It's decided to try to extinguish the fire before the whole building fills with smoke. The yellow smoke contains nitrogen oxides and highly toxic cyanic gases. In this room corner test, the walls and ceiling have been insulated with expanded polystyrene. After one minute, a layer of smoke and hot gases starts to build up under the ceiling. In fire tests that are smaller than this room size test, the flame retarding chemical additives have helped polystyrene to be certified as difficult to ignite. In this more realistic fire test, however, it takes less than two minutes before flashover occurs and the room becomes engulfed in flames. Expanded polystyrene has fueled a number of dramatic fires, including the tragic fire at Dusseldorf Airport, but it's still being used on a massive scale. Polystyrene insulation can be found in millions of buildings around the world. Some small-scale fire tests put polyisocyanurate plastic foam with heat-reflecting aluminium foil in the same category as fire-safe rock wool stone wool. But will polyisocyanurate also pass the full-scale room corner test without causing dangerous flashover? During the first few minutes, some smoke develops, but nothing dramatic happens. However, after 10 minutes, when the fire load is increased to that of a burning armchair, the smoke and the heat becomes much more intense. After less than 11 minutes, flashover occurs. The room is engulfed in flames. An unprotected person trapped in such a flashover would have no chance of surviving the intense heat and poisonous smoke. When the gas flame is turned off after 20 minutes, the fire has already destroyed most of the polyisocyanurate. 